Tehran, an Iranian delegation arrived in Saudi Arabia on Wednesday to pave the way for the reopening of diplomatic missions as Gulf rivals prepare to normalize relations after seven years of violent separation. The Iranian delegation will take the necessary measures to establish an embassy and consulate general in Riyadh and Jeddah, Iranian Foreign Ministry spokesperson Nasser Kanaani said in a statement. Riyadh broke off ties with Tehran in 2016 after Iranian protesters attacked Saudi diplomatic missions following the execution Saudi Shiite cleric Nimr al-Nimr, one of a series flashpoints between longtime foes. The Saudi embassy in Tehran was attacked, its staff evacuated, and then the Saudis gave Iran's diplomats in Riyadh 48 hours to leave. The Iranian delegation's arrival comes days after Saudi delegation made a similar visit Tehran, right after historic meeting in China between foreign ministers of the two governments that promised to bring stability turbulent region. The Iranian delegation arrived in Riyadh on Wednesday to visit and reopen Iranian embassy and consulate in accordance with the latest agreement between two countries, Iran's official Erna news agency reported. One team will go Jeddah to reopen Iran's consulate there and prepare its representation in Organization of Islamic Cooperation, while the other will stay in Riyadh reopen embassy, Erna said. Iranian President Ibrahim Raisi has been invited to Saudi Arabia, which will be the first visit of its kind since Mohammad Khatami left in 1999, according to Tehran. The rush of diplomatic activity follows landmark Chinese-mediated announcement last month that Iran and Saudi Arabia, which support opposing sides in the conflict in Middle East, will work to re-establish ties. As contacts grow, Saudi Arabia is negotiating eight years after launching a military intervention aimed at ousting Yemen's Iran-backed Houthi rebels from power in its impoverished neighbor. Saudi Ambassador Mohammad al-Jaber traveled to rebel-held capital of Yemen, Sana'a, this week, in hopes of working for stability in an expired ceasefire and a comprehensive political solution between the Houthis and deposed government. Saudi Arabia gathered a multinational coalition to fight Houthis in 2015 after rebels took control of Sana'a and much of the country, forcing government to flee. It has become a major battleground oh.